think my favorite childhood memory with cookies is my mom baking in the kitchen, just um, with the mixing bowls that are way older than I am that she still has, and just doing the recipes from scratch. We're going to do a chocolate snowflake with white icing. Um, simple design for Leanne to practice with. That's why I'm here today, is to get some cookie decorating experience, because when I'm done, they are not exactly ready to show to anybody. All right, so, I can't wait. Um, we're gonna start with the piping bag. That's this. That's that. So you don't use a, um, what do you call them, a pump, a press? No, I why? use a piping bag. It has more control. You can put more or less pressure on the bag. It makes it easier. So why don't you try just practicing with a straight line. Hold All it right. from the top. All right, hold it from the top, got it. Um, you can put your other hand underneath to rest it on. Okay. You're not touching the paper. This is like shooting pool. So you, you're basically, dr think you're dropping the frosting onto. Oh, I get it. There you go. Getting the icing right on the cookie is the consistency of the icing. It's not, there is skill involved in learning how to pipe and get it just right. But if your icing's too thick, it's gonna break every time and it's gonna look clumpy. And if it's too thin, it's gonna run and be watery. So if you've got the right consistency of the icing, you've got half the battle won. That's more my style right there. Okay. What do you do if you make a mistake? That's what the toothpicks are for. So, so put this back in here. You can just gently scrape off your icing. You have you're to too too, you say you're getting too close to the cookie. Come up higher. Okay. So that you're dropping the frosting. There you go. Oh yeah. That's kind of counterintuitive. It is you would think that you would want to get closer. Look what I've done here. Okay, so what so, happened to me was this is <laughs> what happened to me is it was like coming out and then it wasn't falling. Okay, there might be um, a little bit of a hunk of powdered sugar that didn't quite get mixed in. Oh, okay. So what you can do is you can poke any dried frosting or anything that's on there and grab a towel and just wipe off the end. So don't lick the end off. Well, you can, but you probably don't want to serve those to guests. Though. All right. <laughs> I think That's you did great. pretty darn good for your first cookie. I think I did too. Yay! Thank you. Uh huh. That's pretty fun.